What's up guys, it's Raging Tanger 90 and today I'll be showing you the Panzer 4A part of the uh the uh, Panzer 4A, Panzer 4D uh into the Panzer 4 uh branch that we got with I believe it was update uh, 9.10 it brought in also brought in the KV-2 and the Sherman Jumbo and the Churchill gun carrier um fortunately our KV-1S did not get split like it did on Xbox when the Panzer IVs got brought in um so a little bit of a self update for me because I haven't uh done a video in a very long time um um I had a lot of schoolwork. Um, I'm senior in high school now, um, and um, a while back, um, Apple decided to ban emulators with iOS update 8.1.2. Fortunately, they reversed that uh, decision a few updates later, so now I'm able to show you videos again. Um, um, I, uh, another big update was clans for blitz and also the new british tank destroyers with this most recent update update 2.1 i'll be showing you this valentine at and other british tank destroyers at a later date as you can see i've not fully upgraded the valentine at yet so i'm not sure fully um, it's not fully up to its cap it's not up to its full capabilities yet so uh it's not worthy of a video yet the panzer 4a however is and it by golly, is it a fine tank. It's only got 15 millimeters of frontal armor, uh, 30 on the turret, but it's got a, it, at tier 3, the, 70, the 75 millimeter L24 derp gun, it's basically a derp gun, uh, does pretty well. Um, it would probably be better if they didn't nerf the high explosive stuff with uh, update 2.1. But I'll also cover that when I do the British tank destroyers. That'll be quite the rant. Um, so, uh, you have two gun choices on this tank. The 5 centimeter has slightly better penetration and a better rate of fire. But uh, the damage just, uh, I just didn't uh, um, enjoy it as much. Um... The derp gun, meanwhile, has a quite slow reload for a 75 millimeter gun, but it and it has worse penetration. But the damage is just so much more. Um, it's fun derping around in this thing at tier three. Um, it's also got very good mobility. Um, if I run into, uh, if I end up running into Matildas, I can load some high explosive anti tank and. Uh, it has 87 millimeters of penetration, which will make me able to take them on. Um, for uh, the standard round, there's, uh, I believe it's 43 millimeters of penetration. Yep. And 160 average damage, being a 75 millimeter gun. Um, gun rammer is probably essential on this tank, given the slow rate of fire. Uh, my standard loadout of multi-purpose uh, adrenaline and repair kit. Um, so, without further ado, let's jump into the Panzer 3 4 a my bad. Um, in, a, in a, a day or two, I should have a video on the Panzer 4D and the Valentine AT. I've been trying to do a video on the Valentine AT, but I just decided to do it when I fully know the tank's capabilities in Blitz, when I get it fully upgraded. And we spawn on the hillside, or, or ridge side, really. I really don't like the side, this side of the map on, on this map. I forget what it's called. I think it's called Desert Sands. Maybe Oasis Palms. Um, so, I'm going to pop by this rock here. See if we can spawn anything. Good thing we're top tier in this battle. Derp one into the cruiser four, back off for a reload. He's gonna pop over the hill here. He's he's kind of playing chicken with me. Up oh, and over the hill, pop my teammates so I can go boom and finish him off. And that 
is the sign of a good team. When you're in trouble, your teammates uh, rush over and distract the enemy tank while you're there to finish them off. BT-7. Oh, good, he doesn't have the auto cannon. So, derp one into his, into his turret. And rush, and rush the guy. I'm not going to waste a shell on him. And down he goes. I will, however, fire at the M2 medium. And that round penetrates. And seeing as he has the derp gun, I'm going to take my time to finish him off. Uh, the Valentine AT. Now, he's trying to hide his mantlet behind the M2, wreck of the M2 medium, but it's just not going to work. And he's taken out. Valentine AT hiding up there. Oh, my shot dunks into the ridge behind him as he pulls back into cover. Oh wow, that shot hot, uh, That shot hit him. I was moving as well. Let's see if I can get up this ridge. Just barely, but he's taken out by our Cruiser 3 buddy. Uh, that was one of the quickest battles I've ever played in the Panzer 4A. Very good teamwork by my team there. Um, I don't think I've ever seen such good teamwork. Um, Class 2 Mastery Badge, Master Gunner, and Sharpshooter there. Um... We were the top of our team with 875 at, uh, total damage. Um, our Cruiser 3 buddy did very well. He killed three tanks and got himself an Orlix medal. And I'm sure he got some kind of mastery badge out of that. Um, um, the other team was also very crappy. Um, Cruiser 4... Um, we spotted, and we did 233 damage to him. The BT-7, we did 140, 54 damage to him. Um, it says damage upon, uh, oh, well, no, it says damage upon your spotting. Maybe I respotted him after he didn't pop. I also damaged his gun when I fired that round at him. Uh... Um, the M2 medium, uh, 167 damage on him, 167 damage on the Valentine AT, and 154 damage on the other Valentine AT, plus 34 spotting damage. Overall, a pretty good game in the Panzer 4A. Um, so, um, like I said, um, in the next few days, I hope to have a review up on the Panzer 4D. Um, it shouldn't take me that long because I've already played through the regular Panzer IV, so I have pretty much every module unlocked, um, except the turret and the tracks. So, that was the Panzer IVA. Uh, take care, folks, and we'll see you next time.